Hey, what's good? I'm doing a Final Fantasy deck profile for you guys. Um, so, um, stay tuned for next Wednesday, which we, um, let me get to it, which we, um, this deck, this deck profile will be next week, and then this one will be last, so, so I hope you are excited for those, but, um, yeah, so without any further ado, let's go to the, um, red or fire and water, um, deck list, which is basically it uh, Zidane, so, so three of those, <coughs> and, uh, I think this is basically the star deck, um, or it's really, really similar to the star deck, so, um, yeah, so, basically if you control, um, this symbol, um, her cost becomes one less for each of those, <coughs> and then when, uh, she enters the battlefield, um, you can either draw one card or make your opponent discard one card, so, which is really, really quite cool. So, three of those. Um, three of this one, BB. Um, so you, um, you can destroy himself to uh, choose one Ford, which is basically, um, that ward right there. Um, your you control your punk controls and then deal five thousand damage. Which is really really quite nice. Um <coughs> so <coughs> and then next is I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name, but let's see um, next guy, so you tap him, so you turn him sideways, and then you sacrifice a four, which he can also sacrifice himself, and then deal a four, that much damage. So, he, you deal a four, nine thousand damage if you sacrifice him, so, which is really, really quite cool. And then, two warriors. Um, so you tap one fire, and then a uh, warrior gains a thousand power until end of turn, which is which can be very sometimes helpful uh, depending on the situation. So yeah, and then two samurai. Um, so it has brave, which it does not for brave. It does not do this to attack. It stays in this position. So. Yeah. And then... Uh, two ninja. So it has first strike, which means that it does first damage, and then regular combat is assigned. So, yeah. So that's pretty it for the fire forwards. Um, so. And then now for the fire backups. <coughs> So, two summoner, um, or actually one summoner, my bad. I thought there was actually two there. Actually, yeah, there is two. My bad. Um, so these go into your backup zone, which is basically, it kind of equals your spells and traps in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, or your land in magic anyway. Um, but these enter the battlefield tapped and then you untap them during your active phase. And then um, if this card is put into your break zone, which is basically your graveyard, um, then a forward uh, receives, um, or if a forward receives damage this turn, increase uh, the damage by a thousand. So. 
which is not too bad. And then two ranger. Um, so you tap a fire, a colorless, and then you tap him. Um, choose one forward, uh, cost three less, and then deal with 2,000 damage. Um, not the better um, card out of this deck, but still sometimes nice. So, And then two of this. So it's a backup, and then it also has a EX burst. Um, so why are you... Why are you take damage and then this card's in your damage zone? The EX burst will trigger and then you activate the one effect. So when he enters the field, choose one forward, your opponent controls, and then deal 5,000 damage or 3,000 damage. And then 1,000 to 1,000 more damage for each uh, card in your front hand. So it's really, really quite good in that perspective to. Help take out something that's a threat, and then you know, be able to you know, do what you need to do. So, yeah, and then two evoker. Um, this is just basically your generic mana, <coughs> so and then two sage. This card's really, really quite good. Um, it helps the deck accelerate, uh, to be able to carry prone quicker um so basically when this card enters the field you choose one for it and then give it haste so let's say you discard something for the dane and then it has seventy sickness and then you cast it to this give it haste and then you tackle it on your first turn so it's really cool in that perspective that you can you know do different tricks with, with the deck so and then that's basically it for the backups. And now for the one uh, summon that you play for in this in this build for red, um, which is this guy. So I don't know how to pronounce his name, but yeah. So you choose one forward and then deal it six thousand damage. Which in a lot of situations it takes out a lot of things, which is really really quite nice. So. So that's basically it for the fire. Now for the water. <coughs> so three this guy. So when he enters, enters the field, you can you're search for a category uh, 11, I think that is, and add to your hand. And if you control a category uh, 11, then other than this card, uh, this card gains a uh, plus a thousand, so which is pretty nice. And then Quina. Um, so for each card in your hand, uh, this card gains a thousand power, and then it has a eat plus an S. So I'm guessing that you discard something with the. Uh, you discard one with the same name, and then choose one forward, which has been dealt damage this turn, and then if that forward has a special ability or act or action ability, break it. So, so it's pretty nice in some in some situations to get rid of something that's like a, like I said a threat. So, Garnet, and not the Yu-Gi-Oh Garnet. This is <laughs> this is a the Final Fantasy Garnet. Um, so, when this enters the field, you can search for a water summon with cost two or less, and then cast it without paying its cost. Which is really, really quite nice. Or actually, there's three Garnet, my bad. And then, two knights. Um, just a beater, so... Yeah, and then to this guy, um, Muggle, I think it is. So you draw two and then you discard one for your hand. So it's basically, uh, I'm trying to, it's basically Graceful Charity for Yu-Gi-Oh, basically. 
so. And then their similar type of card. Um, these like looking card, so. Um, so when he enters the field, if you control uh, Eco, which especially her, um, you draw one card. And then you tap two water, and then tap one colorless, and then tap itself, and then put into the break zone, and then choose one forward, return to the other's hand. So it's really, really, really quite nice for control purpose. So, yeah. And then to this guy. Um, so when he enters the field, place any number of cards from your hand on the bottom, and then draw the same number. So if you have a kind of dead hand, uh, he helps with making your hands a little more alive. So, and then to Eco. So when when she enters the field, you can search for one of uh, uh, the same category forward, and then add to your hand. So you basically search out for. <coughs> The Dane, and then add your hand, and then summon him, and then you know do a whole bunch of other things. So, yeah. So that's basically it for the backups. Now for the summons, two fairy. Um, so choose one forward, activate it, and then draw one card. So let's say your opponent uh, froze uh, this guy. You just play this, activate it, and then you treat. So you can attack with it the same turn, so which is pretty nice. So, and then two of the evoker, so which is basically just mana. So, but um, yeah, so that's basically it for the fire, water, final fantasy deck profile. Um, it's really, really a lot of fun, and this was actually one of the decks that I first played, and I still really enjoy it. It's so much. It's so much fun, um, and it actually hits hard quite a bit, so, um, but yeah, so, next Wednesday, we, this deck profile, um, and then after that one, will be this one, so, um, yeah, so stay tuned for more, uh, videos, tomorrow will be a Yu-Gi-Oh! video, with the Domus, um, make sure they come up with, um, so stay tuned for that, thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more, and, um, yeah, I'll cut it over, there it is.